Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. This is the second part of multi-part mini video series on how to deploy Windows 11 with MDT and WDS. In the last video, we have installed Windows ADK, WinPE add-ons and MDT on this server. Link to that video is given in the description. In this video, we will see the steps on how to install and configure Windows Deployment Services in Windows Server 2022. WDS is a server rule that gives administrators the ability to deploy Windows OS remotely. WDS can be used for network-based installations to set up new computers, so administrators do not have to directly install each operating system. Most organizations have the need to have an automated way to deploy Windows images to client computers. Instead of using a USB key that clients must be boot from, using PXE is a great way to boot Windows clients from the network, pull down an image and apply an image all from the network. WDS provides a way to answer PXE request and provide Windows images to client computers for provisioning. Let's take a look at WDS PXE boot configuration and see how you can configure your WDS server to properly answer PXE boot request. For this demo, we have single domain Active Directory Forest named msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. On this server, we have installed and configured the ADDS service with DNS and DHCP server rules. In the first step, we need to install the Windows Deployment Service on this server. To do that, open Server Manager. Click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. On Before You Begin page, click Next. Select Role Base or Feature Base Installation. Click Next to continue. Select the destination server. We will keep the local server selected. Click Next. Select Windows Deployment Services from the Rules list. You will be prompted to add additional features that are required to manage WDS. Click Add Features and then click Next. Click Next on the Features page. Read through the notes for WDS installation and click Next. Ensure both role services are selected and click Next. Click the Install button to begin the installation. It will start the installation of Windows Deployment Service on this local server. The installation will take few seconds. You can also use Windows PowerShell to install WDS service on Windows Server 2022. Installation is completed. Click on Close. The next step is to set up the WDS service. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Windows Deployment Services. Maximize the window, expand Servers and click on Server Name. We can see the message Windows Deployment Services is not configured. To configure it, right click on Server and select Configure Server. Ensure that you meet all the requirements. Click Next. Select Active Directory Integrated WDS or if you want it to be a standalone box, we will go with the Integrated with Active Directory option. Click Next. Specify a remote installation folder or use the default given. Click Next. If you select a folder on the same volume as your operating system, you will have a system volume warning pop-up. Read it and click Yes if you are compatible with moving forward. Click No to pick another volume to store the remote install folder. Let me change the path to E drive. So path is going to be E colon slash remote install. Click Next. Because this is both the WDS and DHCP server, ensure that both checkboxes are selected. This will automatically configure option 60 in DHCP. Click Next to continue. For your PXE initial settings, please select Respond to all client computers, known and unknown. At the moment, we will keep it to default options selected. 
You can always change these settings at a later time. Click Next. Wait for the WDS initial configuration to complete. As we can see, we are done configuring a WDS server, but the service couldn't start. Click on Finish. Let's manually start the WDS service. To start WDS service, right click on the server and select all tasks and then start. We get the confirmation message, successfully started Windows deployment services. Click OK. WDS service is now up and running. Let me expand our server name and as we can see, we have all the required folders. Right click on server again and this time select properties. On general tab, we can see the remote installation folder location. Go to PXE response tab. If you need to make any changes for your environment, change it here. Select respond to all client computers, known and unknown. You can also select the checkbox to manually approve request for unknown computers. Click on apply and OK to save the changes. Now we can add boot and install image for OS deployment using WDS. But as you know that we can't deploy Windows 11 using only WDS. We have to use MDT with WDS for Windows 11 remote deployment. Microsoft has made this change from Windows 11 operating system. In upcoming videos, we will see how we can deploy Windows 11 using WDS and MDT. In this video, we have successfully installed and configured WDS service on Windows Server 2022. In the next video, we will configure MDT and create deployment share for Windows 11 deployment. That's all for this video on how to install and configure Windows Deployment Service in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.